Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Dennis Duke here from the Duke's Farm. If you're new here, kindly subscribe. Follow me on different social media platforms at Dennis Duke to UG. Today we're here to answer a big question. Very many farmers have had issues when it comes to deciding uh, between raising chickens or raising rabbits. And today we want to have that discussion. So for starters, this is the Duke's farm and it's one of your rabbit center where you get all the information in regards to rabbitry. Very soon we shall have a couple of other enterprises, but for now we offer training, information and consultation, uh, rabbit cage construction, among others. So please hit us on this particular number and we shall be more than glad to help you, but at a small fee. So which one should you go with, rabbit farming or chicken farming? Uh, to start with, rabbit farming does not require a lot of space as opposed to chicken farming. Uh, when it comes to commercial chicken farming, they recommend roughly around 2,000 birds. And a space that can accommodate 2,000 birds could be roughly around uh, 50 feet by around 25 feet. That's in a deep litter system. Now, that space is too much, meaning you will require land that if you do not have it. But for rabbit farming, even in your garage, even in your kitchen, even in your backyard, even in your fence. Most urban dwellers that I'm talking to right now, you can have rabbit farming because it takes just limited space to have a number of rabbits reared there. So that's a, a, a comparative advantage when it comes to chicken versus uh, rabbits. Another is because it requires limited space, it will also require limited or small capital or little capital to start up rabbit farming as opposed to chicken farming. Like I said, on a good scale for a commercial best rabbit uh, a chicken farm you require roughly around 2,000 uh, birds. Let me just go into the calculation for you. The housing alone if you're to do deep litter will cost you roughly around 25 million Uganda shillings. For those of you who are not in Uganda the dollar rate is right now at 3,500 roughly. So 25 million shillings for a chicken house and then buying the chickens themselves is right now I think a chicken is at 5,000 if I'm not mistaken or even more and that one one chicken is at 5,000. 2,000 chickens, you can do the calculation. When it comes to feeding, uh, it's not like rabbit farming where you can go to the gardens and harvest that weed or some grass that is for free and you feed chickens. Mostly I'm talking about layers for your information. Uh, so everything, the input that, is, that requires to start a chicken farm slash half of it can be used to start a rabbit farm. So if it's 50 million required to start a chicken farm, you'll only need uh, 25 million shillings to start a rabbit farm that is equivalent to a chicken farm of 50 million Uganda shillings. That said, you will also realize that chickens take a bit of more time to grow as opposed to rabbits. At four months, a rabbit is ready to either be eaten or even uh, give birth to kids and when it gives birth, it gives birth to kids Well, it gives birth to more kids as opposed to chickens chickens will lay an egg Maybe let's say every day. That's if you're laying uh, if you're doing layers How much is an egg? So in within 30 days you have 30 eggs That's if you've been feeding it very well to give you an egg every day. So 30 eggs. Let's compute roughly 30 eggs within a month. How much is that? Ah, uh, Okay 500 an egg each, okay? Uh, times 30, you get 15,000, okay? Uh, but we all know that in Uganda, the, a tray of an egg can't even go to that. Let's say 10,000 and a tray of, an egg, of eggs, okay? So here, you've had a rabbit for one month and it has given kids. Each kid, let's say after two months, you're going to sell each kid at 40,000 or 30, let's say 30,000 at two months, okay? 30,000 times maybe, let's say five you'll get 150,000 shillings. Let's say 50,000 shillings went into uh, the, the maintenance and the care and the feeding. So you have 100,000 shillings within two months. And then this chicken, within two months, you have 20,000 shillings. Are you still thinking chicken? Anyway, that's just a bit of discussion. So return on investments. When you talk about return on investments, when you're dealing with rabbit farming, it is 
uh, in a short period of time, return on investment is realized as opposed to chicken. Chickens take roughly around two years, depending on how big the investment is. It could even take more. But for whatever the investment that you used to invest in rabbit farming, it comes back in a very short time, making uh, rabbit farming one of the best choices you should make today. Okay. Another thing is rabbit uh, farming or rabbits do not make noise, making them neighbor friendly and like chickens. I mean, you can come here at our farm and you do not realize anything to do with uh, rabbits because they are just peaceful animals, very quiet, no noise, no nothing. But the moment you get into the gate of the Duke's farm, if we had chickens here, like on a big scale, you would feel the f you, you would feel chickens right from the gate because they'll be making noise. Chee, 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 chee. So for those that are in actually urban centers, it becomes very hard for them because that is more like a residential area. It becomes very hard for you to raise chickens. So making rabbits a tick, okay? And when it comes to that, let me combine it with uh, smell and all that. When it comes to rabbits, when you clean it every single day, you avoid anything to do with smell. But with chickens, my dear, it is not as easy as you think. Making rabbits or giving rabbits a comparative advantage when it comes to chickens as well. Now, rabbit manure can be applied directly. This is another benefit of raising rabbits as opposed to chickens. Rabbit manure does not require you to decompose it or to wait for it, no. The moment you get it from your uh, rabbit house, you are more than free to actually go and apply it in your garden and apply it to your crops and there is not going to be any difficulties or any dangers uh, when you do that. Making rabbit farming such a unique venture for you, my ladies and gentlemen. Rabbit farm or rabbits eat less food compared to chickens. Perfect. Rabbits can eat or can survive on a handful of pellets per day. But when it comes to chickens, whatever the type, they require a lot of food to actually uh, survive or even give you that meat that you require. And, and, and so this makes rabbits one of the best, I mean, to go with. Chickens, when it comes to chickens, and by the way, let's go into the meat. Rabbit meat is one of the best white meats on the market, better than... Uh, chicken farming and therefore in the next couple of years we are going to see or we are already seeing the rise and the, the need for rabbit meat and that for me is something that you should tap in so that you're not left behind. When it comes to uh, meat to bone ratio, rabbits put on meat more quicker than chickens. Like I said at four months, in fact at three months, if a rabbit is well fed and well cared for, you can slaughter it and get a lot of meat as opposed to uh, chickens. And the feeding that makes, helps you get that meat when it comes to rabbit farming is little compared to the same feed that is given to, um, uh, to chickens just to attain one kg of meat. Another thing uh, that we need to talk about is rabbits are more pricey than chickens. I don't know whether you know this, but it is very difficult and very rare for you to get a chicken at 50,000 Uganda shillings that has been raised for four months. I repeat, it is very difficult for you, if it's at all there, to get chicken at 50,000 that has been reared for four months, as opposed to rabbit farming. You can get a rabbit and it actually even goes beyond 40 or 50,000. In fact, it can even go to 70,000 within just four months of you raising that giant rabbit. Of course, the breed that you will be rearing or equally matters a lot. So, which one do you go with? A chicken that you will raise for a year before it gets to 30 or 40,000 shillings or a rabbit that you can rear for four months and it gives you 70,000 shillings? You weigh in and see uh, the options, okay? Rabbit urine is a cash cow. Unlike chickens where you only harvest the, the droppings, rabbits have different, you know, uh, things. One is the droppings, which you can use as manure. Two is the rabbit urine, which you can sell, get money, but also you can use that in your garden as manure and as a pesticide because it repels pests and diseases. So every farmer uh, that is involved in maybe uh, 
sukuma wichi, cabbage growing, tomatoes will definitely benefit a lot more from rabbit farming because they'll be using some of the uh, the droppings or the wastes from rabbit. Some people have gone ahead and said that when you integrate rabbit farming with fish farming, it becomes even much easier because you'll be feeding those some of the droppings from rabbits into your fish and you just have no idea what will be coming out at the end of the day. For those of you who've been asking this question, which one should I go uh, with? First of all, look at the availability of land that you have, look at uh, the capital that you have, and then uh, consider, plus also taking care of uh, rabbits is very easy because just some small work and the day is done. But for chickens, it requires a lot, right from brooding, those little, little baby chickens, to that, like, you can't mess up anything when it comes to chicken farming, because the moment you do, mostly for those that are dealing in broilers, uh, my dear, uh, you may never attain or reach that uh, egg productivity level of maybe, let's say, 90%, uh, which is, one of the best, I mean, not many, very many people reach 100% full capacity egg production. Most of them are between 80 to 95. So, but these are the ones that have followed the right procedures when it comes to chicken farming. But when it comes to uh, rabbit farming, the breeding is very easy. You put there, you monitor, so like, yes, I'm now sure this one has gotten pregnant. And you wait for kids at the end of the day. So I believe and hope that this video has helped enlighten some of you who've been having issues of okay should i do this should i do that but of course just like any other venture chicken farming equally has its own advantage uh, as opposed to rabbit farming but on a big scale rabbit farming has more benefits as opposed to chicken farming uh, it's easier to raise rabbits as opposed to uh, chickens so ladies and gentlemen that's my submission from me today until then it's a goodbye